Now joined by Penn State coach Mark Pavlik. Coach, obviously a little bit of a tough one tonight, lose to Stanford in three. What was your assessment of your team's play tonight? Well, I think we were disjointed uh, at best, but you know, I, I think that's what a team like Stanford does to a group that bringing on a new setter, trying to revamp an offense, and uh, you know, it's probably predictable at this point of the year. Um, thought we didn't respond as well as we're going to as the season rolls on, but you know, all in all, valuable experience. It's January volleyball. I think Costi will tell you it probably wasn't the cleanest match that he wanted either, but uh, it, it's valuable. And you know, is it worthwhile for us? Yes. Can, how how do we measure that? Well, how do we respond tomorrow? Because that's another tough one. And coach, talking about the serve pass game, obviously Stanford was doing what. Was there anything different they were doing compared well, to what you've seen on the film, or just you know hats off them good serve? Know, and I, I thought they were serving. I thought I thought we were rushing our passing. I thought we were shortening the court and catching balls high. And when we finally just kind of settled down and let the ball come to us, we were we were in system a lot more. So. Yeah. And coach, you alluded this to a little earlier with your first answer, but young team. Tough loss tonight, but it definitely seems like a lot for Penn State fans to be excited about in the future. Well, I don't know if I agree that it's a young team. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we're young in one position. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I, I think that's the position that the experienced guys have to rally around and say, eh, okay, just give me a ball here and I'm going to take a good swing. And passers have to rally around and say, we'll make it as easy on you as possible. So you know, it's, it, it'll be... Uh, It'll be a learning curve that we're going to go through. I heard you see your guys at one point on a bench. You got to grind it a little bit. Is that one? Is that one of this like with, the, with this newer group, not not new in terms of experience, but new in terms of maybe the, the combination? Is that something something they just have to kind of learn well, as they go along? Well, well, this group, like I said, that outside of Schwabe, everybody else has been on the court for us. Mm -hmm. They've been on the court with Fish and Wildman who finished their career as the numbers three and four ace leaders for us. Mm -hmm. So there were plenty of easy points that we racked up last year. Mm -hmm. This group has to understand we don't have that anymore. Mm -hmm. We have got to grind out points. There were there were some some rallies going on that we, we hung in there with and mm -hmm. you know we we got after uh, and some rallies where it was like we just expected it to be a little bit easier. And, mm -hmm. and I think that's uh, that's one of the phases of a team, that, of, a, of a growing team, is trying to find its own personality. Mm -hmm. And what, what do you think this team, what, the, what their personality can be at some point? Is that yet to be determined? I, no, I, I think their personality can be one that they can be laser focused, they can be locked in for as long as it's going to take them to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, however, <laughs> you, know, you know me, big Marvel fan. Steve Rogers, Captain America, I can do this all day. That's the, I think this team, from what we've seen flashes of in the practice gym over the last couple of months, mm -hmm. when they lock in, they can do things all day. Mm -hmm. And it takes, it takes a team to be pretty physical to beat you over time with that. That's what we're running into this weekend. The mm -hmm. physicality of our opposition mm -hmm. can, can really make us say, okay, we just can't, keep giving them the ball back. We've got to find a way to be physical back.